In this video, I'm going to show you how we can integrate real time database in an Android project. So, if you have created one project on Firebase, just go to firebase.google.com and click here, go to console. And here you can find your project. And if you have not created any project, then you can click on this to add one new project. Okay, I'm clicking on here. So on the left side, you can see that this is the real time database. So we'll learn how we can integrate it in an Android project. So I've already created one project. It's a basic project with one activity. And Android Studio actually provides a really easy way to integrate Firebase. So you need to click on these tools. Then here you can see that the Firebase is Firebase option. Click on that and it will open this assistant window. And here you can see all the different uh, means features of Firebase. So, okay, for like different research, so we need to integrate different uh, dependencies and this assistant window makes it easier for us so for example i'm going to integrate real-time database so you can click the first one if you're using a java project and the second one if you are using a kotlin project so in here i'm using kotlin so i'm gonna click on this and you can see that these are the steps those are required to integrate this real-time database and to connect this to the real-time database it also adds one example okay this one is for writing to our database and this one is for reading from the database okay and also if you are using ProGuard and you can add you need to add this to your ProGuard file okay let me create this as a git project so i'm gonna open this terminal here and let me initialize this as git project Okay, I'm opening it on GitHub desktop. Okay, let me commit this as first commit. This will help us to track all the changes that this assistant window will make. The first one is you need to click on this connect to Firebase. You can also do this manually, but this is the easiest way. So click on this connect to Firebase and it will open your uh, this Firebase console of Firebase uh, window and here you can see that it says to connect your render tab to an existing project or create a new one so I'm just gonna select this one and it will show that Android Studio is trying to connect to it Firebase okay so your Firebase Android app has been created in Firebase click on this connect button then you can now uh, we can now move back to Android Studio. It's now showing as connected here. Then let me change in this GitHub desktop file. Then you can see that it added one Google services suggestion file. So this file defines like what is the Firebase project name, like different app IDs and different types of configuration API keys and other things. So if you manually add firebase to your android project then you need to download this google service file and you need to add it in your app folder now if i go to real-time database let me refresh it okay you uh, i can click on this create database to create one database so here we can select from different locations so i'm going to select this us and next so we have two modes here one is the log mode and one is the test mode in log mode you can see that read and write is marked as false and in test mode it's uh, giving one date it's like uh, one year from now so, sorry not one year one month from now so it will open your database so it says that default security rules for test mode allows anyone with your database reference to view edit and delete all your data for the next 30 days that means that anyone can read the data anyone can write data so for testing purpose you can use this test mode but if you are using it in a production app then you have to move to log mode okay for now i'm gonna select this test mode and i'm clicking enable 
and it created this database it's real uh, it's database this is the name of the database okay now let's go back to our project the next thing we need to add real-time database sdk to our app click on this it will add this in the builder credit file and add builder credit file click on accept changes now if you see that it added this app builder credit file these two lines and here it added this class path the next word is configure real-time database rules that we already did the next word is to write to your database so this is an example of how we can write data to a database so let me copy this and i'm going to hide this assistant and i'm going to paste it in the on create method so we need to import this firebase and here i need to import database so here you can see that it imported this board and it's getting one reference for this message database and it's setting the value hello world okay now let me run the app and let's see how it uh, will work the app started and so this part is executed and if i now go back to here then you can see that for messages it printed hello world for this database similarly if you change to anything like uh, if you give anything here let's say it is hello uh, message two this is two and if i give hello world two and if i restart the app it added hello world two for message two key now let's go back to assistant so there is one more example like how we can read data from our database so let me copy this one okay so here i'm gonna set this okay let me import this fellow event listener data snapshot import 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 the log okay so once the value will change i will read i will read the value and will set the value to this hello world this text view okay we don't need this then let me go to this resource file resource layout activity main and let's hide this one let's go to code and the id of the text view is not defined so let me define one id for the text view okay then let's move back to this main activity and let's create one variable it's the find view by id and it's text view r dot id dot text view okay uh, let me import this text view then i'm gonna set this text to the text view tv dot set text this is the value we can also use this tv dot text equal to value so this value will get once the data will change so once the data of this message 2 will change then we'll get one callback on this own data sense and we are setting this to this text view so let me remove this text from here it's by default it was showing hello world i removed it now let me refresh it it's showing hello world too because we are setting that value here this uh, to this my ref, we are setting the value for this message to key and once we are setting this value we are getting one callback immediately and it sets the data hello world too let me show you by manually editing this value so we have hello world 2 
let me change hello everyone press enter then you can see that it reflects almost immediately so that's all for now i'll show you more examples on real time database in our next videos so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you love this video please like it and if you have any question please drop one comment below thanks bye